everyone welcome to my channel my name is Stephanie and today I'll be telling you about my fuckboy ex-boyfriend so we were together for two years and yeah everything was really good up until like December of 2015 we started in June of 2015 and then in December 2015, that's when I started noticing things, noticing red flags. I caught him texting this one bitch talking about some, no, he doesn't have a girlfriend, and all this shit. We fucking fought. I broke away with him that day. Then we ended up getting back together. It was just like, he was so flirty with these girls. He made me feel bad about myself all the fucking time. Like, he makes you feel like... no one else will want you and you're not good enough for anybody else and like he'll make you feel like you're just not good enough so like you feel terrible about yourself all the fucking time and then like you just feel worthless so um fast forward to what the story is really about yeah he made me feel really bad about myself all the fucking time i really don't know why i fucking stayed that long i really don't and then to a situation that happened in May of 2016. It's, I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. But after that, I just hated him so much and he knew I hated him. I talked about it all the time. I said, it's like something that you can't get over and I will never get over because it was just like, it was like something tragic. So that was like something you can't get over. So I really hated him and like I feel like that was really the end of our relationship because it took a big toll on me like I just I hated him but I'm the type of person that I just do anything to work it out because boo I love you but bitch but uh, but um anyway I hated him and then like fast forward to us getting ready to go to college I found out that he was going to Alabama bitch I cried so fucking much because the exact thing that happened, what I'm about to tell y'all about, I, I was saying it's going to fucking happen, I was crying so much because like, you're going to be in fucking Alabama, I'm going to be in fucking Ohio, like, it's, it's, it's going to be terrible, and he was like, you need to chill the fuck out, it's not going to happen, and it's like, I've already had trust issues because stay doing that stupid ass flirt and stuff, and I just felt like really bad about, I didn't feel good enough for anybody, like, I only have two insecurities, and that's, my freaking big ass nose and I have like a tiny butt like I'm trying to get thick out here but it's not working for me like <sighs> but yeah um yeah he was going to Alabama and then in July he went to the summer program July is where everything fucking starts I will tell you this when I get to what happened a couple weeks ago so yeah July he went there for a summer program I didn't think anything was gonna happen. Well, I did think something was gonna motherfucking happen. Because this bitch, he packed some fucking condoms with him to go down there. He said it was for his cousin. Knowing damn well it's not for his cousin. I took the fucking condoms out of his bag because I was spending the night like the day before he was gonna go. So he, he packed the condoms. And I'm like, what the fuck? We fought that day too. And he lay, well, he does this stupid ass thing where he like lays on you so you can't fucking move and grab me and all this shit. Oh, bitch okay but anyway yeah he put the condoms back in there he's like it's for his cousin I'm like knowing damn well but like you got some fucking magnums knowing you don't you're not that big for we're a fucking magnum bitch but yeah like, you're not even that big to we're, we're in the fucking magnum so it's back in magnum so it's for the cousin I'm like okay I guess cuz well never mind I would say that but yeah so I didn't think anything of it and then he came back and we were all good and then fast forward to August when we both were going down we we're both going to college so we both left and he was acting funny and I'm just like what the fuck like what's wrong is there something wrong like what's going on he like he was just ignoring me talking about he wants to be to himself and all this other stuff I'm like okay and then 
He was just acting like he didn't want to be bothered with me. I'm like, do you even want to be with me no more? Is there a fucking problem? He was like, if I didn't want to be with you, trust me, I wouldn't fucking be with you. I'm like, okay, bitch, and start fucking acting like you want to fucking be with me then. Or I'm about to fucking go. And he kept acting funny. So I was like, okay, we're going on a fucking break. The fuck? You can figure out this is what you want. And I'll figure out this is what I want. And then I found out he doesn't know that I knew this beforehand. Like, I had his iCloud because he had got- I had his fucking iCloud because he had got robbed when he had came back in the summertime. So I had his iCloud because we were doing that search for my iPhone thing. So, I went in there because he was acting funny and said, No, bitch, you're not about to be acting funny around me. I got on his fucking iCloud. He had this fucking video of him fucking this bitch. The bitch wasn't even fucking cute. She had a big butt, though. Because I know he liked them dick girls. And whatever. But, yeah. And everything. So I'm like, okay, we're on a break. I'm gonna do what I want. You can do what you want. You can have sex with if you want. Cause I didn't tell him, but you know, cause clearly, bitch, you already fucking doing shit. But and he's like, no, I'm good. I said, okay, well, I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna figure out this is what I really want. So I was chilling. It was it was this person that I was just talking to about all my little problems with him and all this stuff. And then like we ended up, you know. <laughs> and then like a week later I was like okay we can get back together now but just so you know I had sex with somebody else and then he went the fuck off on me he's like how the fuck can you do that to me why the fuck would you ever do that why would you even fucking tell me you just like everybody else there's like all these other hoes I'm just like okay whatever I'm like you know I tell you everything like I'm very honest with you so but that we weren't even together, so I don't understand, like, what the fucking problem is if we're not together. And in the back of my head, I'm like, any fucking other bitches, any motherfucking way. So what the fuck is the fucking issue? But then fast forward to December of 2016. Um, we come back and we see each other. Blah, 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 blah. We're all good. But, like, I just feel, like, distant. And he was very distant. But we were like, we were with each other every day, you know. I was over his grandparents' house, over his dad's house, but then I was over his house and everything. And then like, we go back to school in January. And then we get there. He waits till he fucking got back to school. He was like, you know, I want an open relationship now. I was like, so you make me feel like everything is okay now. Because like, me doing that thing. Oh, in um, October, I told him about that I knew about him fucking that girl. But anyway, back to um, January. So I was like, you made me feel like everything is okay again. We're fine. Now you want to be in a fucking open relationship? I was like, what, do you have another fucking girlfriend down there? He said, no, why would I have a girlfriend when I told you that I don't even want to be in a relationship right now? I said, okay. So then, fast forward to February. I was fucking done. I said, this is a fucking toxic ass relationship. You always make me feel like I'm not good enough. You make me feel like I'm not nothing. And I just don't want to do this anymore. You don't even seem like you're fucking trying nothing. And then he was like, you fucking tripping. I thought we were okay. We're in a more open relationship. You're not going any fucking way so you can get that out of your head right now. And I was just like, okay. But like, we were done. We were done. I said, no, 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 bitch. No, 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 no. So then, I'm, you know, living my life. I started gaining, like, hella weight when we broke up. Because, like, he was, like, when I was together with him, he was always talking about I was so skinny, I was unhealthy looking and shit. And I gained a bit of weight. You're fucking fat. You need to lose some weight. And, like, I lose the weight again. Talking about I'm unhealthy looking. Like, I was, like, really skinny with him. Then he broke up. I started gaining fucking weight, bitch. My thighs. <laughs> my thighs are getting big you know I want to be thick like I said earlier it's my thighs are getting big and whatnot but yes so we're like I'm doing my own little thing and then we come back in the summer no like throughout like us being done before like summertime hit he stayed like hitting me up I'm talking about leave me the fuck alone I don't fucking like you none of that he was like no you don't hate me you won't talk to me blah 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 and, like he was triple texting and stuff like bitch Oh, and then, like, there was this girl that I was really suspicious about. I'm not going to say her name. If she, if she watches this, she knows who she is. 
Like, I was asking about her because he had pictures of her on his phone. They were texting and said, I'm like, this is not no motherfucking friendly conversation. And he was like, it's his friend's stepsister. She has a boyfriend in Florida and all this stuff. It's like a sister to him. So, fast forward to May, last month. Yeah, last month. Um... I told him to come get his shit because I'm fucking down with him and all this stuff. And like, he came here and he just sat the fuck down. He said he's not going anywhere. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, get your shit and fucking go. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, you were just sitting here for like a couple hours. And like, he left. And then he came back talking about, give me a hug. You know, you miss me. And all this stuff. I'm like, boy. So I could take his shit and put it in his fucking car. I was like, your shit is in your car. And then, yeah. And like a cup, like oh, two weeks later, we stopped talking. He fucking blocked me, bitch, on the phone. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't know he had blocked me at first. I thought like he got robbed again. But couldn't find out the bitch blocked me because I, I DM'd him. I was like, you stupid ass bitch should have got your shit. Like I fucking told you to. Don't try to force your way back into my life and do this shit again. Cause like, the fuck, like. We could have been cool, but sitting here fucking lying to me all the fucking time. And then come, then like, yeah, a couple of days later. So I get, I wake up to this DM talking about, this is his girlfriend. What's going on? How did he force his way back into your life? And forced his way back into her life. And then like, when I was reading it, she had called me. She was like, hello. I was like, hello. She's like, hello. I said, hello. She's like, hi, this is so and so. Um, this is his girlfriend what's going on i said girlfriend when did he get a girlfriend we just broke up a couple months ago it's not just broke up shit we had just broke up a couple months ago she was like well she started crying i'm like what the fuck what the fuck, what the fuck? i said don't cry bitch, don't cry and she asked like did stuff happen i said yeah i didn't know he had another girlfriend she was like when did you guys break up i said we broke up in february she said we started dating in July, got together in October. She was up here crying, like, girl, do not cry, do not cry. She was crying. I was getting sad, so I started crying, too, bitch. And she woke him up because she was at his house. She flew here from fucking Connecticut, bitch, to see him. You know, her fucking cheating on her ass. And she told me that um he did it before. He was her making her look stupid. I'm just like, like, don't. If you love somebody, you're not about to continuously fuck somebody over. Like, I don't fucking get that. And like they just start fighting and stuff. I'm on the phone a long time. I'm like, I started sending her the screenshots and everything because he's over there fucking lying his ass off. So I sent her the fucking screenshots. His ass is lucky I didn't have all the fucking screenshots because I was fucking done with his ass and deleted all the fucking messages after a little situation when he fucking blocked my ass. And then he on DM me talking about something that was cute. I said, bitch, don't be mad because you done got caught up. You had two girlfriends at the motherfucking same time. Like bitch what and then he was like just leave me the fuck alone stop talking to her you making the fucking scene all this stuff and i was like he's like leave me alone we been broke up you told me that you didn't want to fucking leave you said that i said him the screenshot i said bitch i told you i was on you said i'm not going nowhere so i can get that out of my head you don't didn't want to break up but I was fucking done with your ass. And you one who kept hitting me up over the period of time. Talking about some don't move on. And I asked him um, a couple of days before she had um, called me, should I move on? Because I was done. Like, I didn't want to, like, be done if he wasn't done. Because I would have felt bad. But, like, I've heard so many fucking good guys for him. But he was like, don't move on. And I was like, okay, like, the fuck. The fuck. Like, okay, whatever. And then, like, yeah, they were fighting and stuff. I was like, oh, shit, bitch, oh, shit. And, like, she was asking me all these questions, and I was asking her all these questions. She said they started dating in July, the time that he went to the fucking, um, the little summer program in fucking Alabama. That's when they started fucking dating, and then got together in fucking July. Bitch. B bitch. But, um... Yeah, I'm just like, I was like, low-key sorry, but at the time, like, I was over him. 
and everything. But I'm just mad that he fucking lied to me. Like, I asked you continuously, did you have a fuck another fucking girlfriend? You kept saying fucking no. Like, why the fuck are you lying to me? And during the period of time, when his ass had two motherfucking girlfriends, I bought him beats. I paid for his fucking gas, bitch. I bought him 2K17. My mama brought him Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I spent my money on this bitch. That's the only reason I was talking. I'm like, I don't, I want my light up speaker back. I want them beats back. I want Grand Theft Auto back. I want 2K back. Even though I don't got a motherfucking PlayStation 4 or 5, whatever the fuck it is. Like, and he told her that I was cheating on him and he was cheating on me. Bitch, I never fucking cheated on you. Like, why the fuck are you sitting here fucking lying? And so we were broken up when I did what the fuck I did. We were together every time he did some type of shit to me. Like, bitch, go. But she followed me on Instagram. I didn't know this before, so I didn't tell her. But she had followed me on Instagram, and I saw her. And that's the bitch that he said was, like, his fucking sister. So I was like, oh, bitch, you believe in fucking incest? Like, you said I was a fucking sister to you. Like, I was just blown. It was like, I carved so many good guys for him. Like, so many. And, like, the one that I'm talking <laughs> this guy that I'm talking to right now, I, I consistently was like, no, I don't want to talk to you. You want to fuck alone. I don't wanna deal with nobody right now. Cause like I was still talking to him. And like I just wouldn't try to move on. But like this dude, you gotta hear this new guy, he is so fucking sweet. My confidence went up. Like I waited to talk to him so my confidence went up because I didn't talk to him like I didn't give him the time of day till after like the situation happened. Like, cause I was letting my little confidence build up because like it was it was going up. But it wasn't all the way there yet. So I waited till it was like all the way there. But it, so, um, I, like, gave him the number, like, cause I was like, you can talk to me on Snapchat, you can't give the motherfucking number yet, cause, nah, nah, I'm not about to. So, yeah, then I started giving him the time of day, and I went on the cutest little date thingy ever, even though I told him that I don't want anything, we could be fucking friends, don't try no sweet shit. <laughs> me liking him and stuff he was like boy yeah that was it that was everything um if you have any of those red flags leave immediately do not deal with the tomfoolery the fuckery the blasphemy because it's not worth your fucking time um yeah and somebody new will come around somebody better that'll have you peace and all <laughs> but yeah that was that was my story of my fuckboy ex-boyfriend Hope you enjoyed. Um, my next video, I, have, I will have a special guest, Mr. Austin. I will have him come, and I'm gonna. Hit, we're gonna talk about this new new. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Bye.